Welcome to the Wraith Tavern. History on tap. Enjoy the video. Join me as I dive into some of the quirkiest historical myths that people still believe today and see if I can convince you they're not true. Quirky historical myths have been a staple of popular culture for centuries, and it's fascinating to see how they continue to endure despite being debunked time and time again. From ancient legends to modern-day misconceptions, these myths have a way of captivating our imagination and taking root in our collective psyche. So why do these myths persist despite being disproven by historians and experts? One reason is that they often tap into our deep-seated desires and fears, providing a narrative that's more appealing than the truth. Another reason is that they're often perpetuated by popular culture, such as films, books, and media, which can be incredibly influential in shaping our perceptions of history. Additionally, many myths have been passed down through generations, becoming ingrained in our cultural heritage and folklore. And let's be honest, sometimes they're just more fun to believe than the boring old truth. Furthermore, these myths can have a profound impact on our understanding of history, leading to a distorted view of the past and its significance. By accepting myths as fact, we risk losing sight of the real events and people that shaped our world. This can have serious consequences, such as perpetuating stereotypes, reinforcing harmful biases, and even influencing our social and political decisions. It's essential that we approach history with a critical eye, separating fact from fiction and acknowledging the complexities of the past. Historical myths can also be incredibly entertaining and there are plenty of examples to choose from. Absolutely! Some myths are so captivating that they become a part of our cultural fabric, making history feel like a grand adventure. Take for instance the myth that Napoleon Bonaparte was extremely short. While it's true that he was below average height for his time, his reported height of 5 feet 2 inches is likely an exaggeration. In reality, he was probably around 5 feet 6 inches, which was still slightly above average height for a Frenchman during the late 18th century. Another example is the myth that Einstein failed math as a child. This is a complete fabrication, and Einstein was actually an exceptional student who excelled in mathematics and physics throughout his early years. The origins of this myth are unclear, but it's possible that it arose from a misunderstanding of the different grading systems used in Swiss and German schools during the late 19th century. One of the most enduring myths is that Vikings wore horned helmets. This is a complete fabrication and there is no historical evidence to support it. The idea likely originated from 19th century romanticist artists who were fascinated by Nordic mythology and added horns to their depictions of Viking warriors for dramatic effect. In reality, Viking helmets were likely made of leather or metal and were relatively plain, without any ornate features like horns. But perhaps the most surprising myth of all is that the Great Wall of China is visible from space. This myth has been debunked time and time again, yet it persists in popular culture. Um, in reality, while the Great Wall is a very long structure, it's only about 30 feet wide and blends in with the surrounding terrain, making it virtually invisible from space. This myth is particularly fascinating because it speaks to our desire to believe in the grandeur and majesty of ancient civilizations. The idea that the Great Wall of China is visible from space is a testament to our awe and reverence for this incredible feat of engineering. And while it may not be true, it's a powerful symbol of what humans are capable of achieving when we work together towards a common goal. In conclusion, quirky historical myths are a fascinating aspect of our cultural heritage, and it's essential that we approach them with a critical eye. By understanding the truth behind these myths, we can gain a deeper appreciation for history and its complexities. So, the next time you hear someone repeating one of these myths as fact, gently correct them and share the truth. Thanks for watching, and if you have a favorite historical myth, be sure to comment below. And if you're interested in more videos on quirky historical myths, be sure to check out my other content. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.